Hello friends, in today's lecture, we will be seeing some important questions on arithmetical reasoning test. We have already seen type 1 and type 2 of this test. Now it's the time for some important questions. So let us begin with the first MCQ. Students, the first MCQ says that in a caravan, in addition to 50 hens, there are 45 goats and 8 camels with some keepers. If the total number of feet be 224 more than the number of heads in the caravan, find the number of the keepers. So students, let us solve the MCQ by going for the solution. So students, let the number of keepers be x. So now we have to calculate the total number of feet. And that is 2 into 50 because hens are having 2 legs and we are having total 50 hens. The next is 45 goats. Now students, goats are having 4 legs and we are having 45 goats. So I will write 4 into 45. And then we are writing 8 camels. Now camels are having again 4 legs, so we will write 4 multiplied by 8. And we are having some keepers. Now I am not knowing how many keepers I am having. So I will write it down as 2 multiplied by x since the keepers will have 2 legs. So 2 multiplied by x that is 2x. They have told us one thing. What is that? If the total number of feet is 224 more than the number of heads in the caravan. So the total number of feet is equal to 2x plus 2 into 50 plus 4 into 45 plus 4 into 8. So now let me go for the last sentence which says that the total number of feet is 224 more than the number of heads in the caravan. Now let me calculate the total number of heads. So we are already having 50 hens plus 45 goats plus 8 camels and the keepers which are x. So if I add all of this, I get 103 plus x. So now as per the equation, I will write down 2x plus 312 is equal to 224 plus 103 plus x. Why is that? Because the total number of feet is 224 more than the number of heads. Now I know that the total number of feet is 2x plus 312. So I'll write it down as 2x plus 312 is equal to 224 plus 103 plus x. Thus, on solving this, I get the answer of x to be as 15. So the option D, which is 15, is the right answer. Now for the next one, it says that A is 3 times as old as B. C is twice as old as A four years ago. In four years time, A will be 31. Then what is the present ages of B and C? So let me write down the solution. Now, the first one says that A is three times as old as B. So I will write A is equal to 3B. Then it says that C is twice as old as four years ago of A. So now four years ago, four years ago, I will write C minus four is equal to, he is twice as old as A four years ago. So twice, I'll write it down as two in the bracket A minus four. And also it says that in four years times A will be 31. So I will write it down as A plus four is equal to 31. So now we have got three equations and they are a is equal to 3b, c minus 4 is equal to 2 into a minus 4 and then we have got a plus 4 
is equal to 31. So they have asked us the present ages of B and C. So I get the answer of A to B as A which is equal to 31 minus 4 which is nothing but 27. Now they have asked us B and C present age. So I know that A is equal to 3 times of B. So 27 divided by 3 will give me the age of B. And that is nothing but 9 years. Next they have asked me for C. Now if I use the value of A in the second equation, I get the answer of C which is nothing but c minus 4 is equal to 2 times of a minus 4. Now a I am getting as 27. So 27 minus 4 is giving me 23. So I get the value of c as c is equal to 2 into 23 plus 4. So now students let me go for the value of finding c. So I have got one equation which is c minus 4 is equal to 2 times of a minus 4. So I substitute the value of a in it. a ka value was 27. So 27 minus 4 is giving me 23. And then I get c minus 4 is equal to 2 times of 23 which is nothing but 46. So I get the value of c as 50. So the answer to this question is C is equal to 50 and that is option B. Now let us go for the next MCQ. It says that a woman says if you reverse my own age, the figures represent my husband's age. He is of course senior to me and the difference between our ages is 1 11th of their sum. So we have asked to find the age of the woman. So let me go for the solution. So students, if we check the options directly, we can say that the answer to this question is option C, which is 45 years. Because if we go as per that, now let me take option C, which is 45. If you reverse 45, we get 54. And then if we go for the last statement, it says that the difference between our ages is 1 11th of their sum. So now let me go for it. So they are saying that the difference is 9 years. So we'll go for it and we write out 1 upon 11 is equal to 54 plus 45. So we get the answer as 9 years. So students in this question we just have to go for the options and get the answer. So the answer to this question is option C which is 45 years. Now let us go for the next MCQ. It says that Varun was born two years after his father's marriage. His mother is five years younger than his father but 20 years older than Varun who is 10 years old. At what age did his father get married? So now students let us go for the first statement. It says that first statement mein ye likha hai ki Varun was born two years after his father's marriage. And they have also told that Varun's age is 10 years old. And they have told us that his mother is 5 years younger than his father but 20 years older than Varun. So if I add 20 years to Varun's age, I will get his mother's age. So Varun's mother's age will be 30 years. And his mother is 5 years younger to his father. So Varun's father will be 30 plus 5 which is 35 years. So now students, Varun's father's age is 35 years. So now if we go 10 years behind, so that will give me 35 minus 10 which was Varun's father's age when he had got married. And they have also told us one thing that Varun was born two years after his father's marriage. So we also have to subtract two from it. Varun was born when his father's age was 25 years old and before two years old his father had got married. So we can definitely say that Varun was born when his father was 25 years old 
and his father had got married two years before so that is at the age of 23 so Varun's father had got married at the age of 23 So the answer to this question is option A which is 23 years. And now for the last MCQ, it says that in a group of cows and hens, the number of legs are 14 more than twice the number of heads. Then the number of cows is how much? So let us go for the solution. So let me assume the number of cows to be as X and number of hens to be as Y. Now it says that a number of legs are 14 more than twice the number of heads. Now students, we know that a cow has 4 legs whereas a hen has 2 legs. So as per the question, it says that the number of legs are 14 more than twice the number of heads. So now we go for the first part which is a number of legs are. Now we know that number of legs, if we go for number of legs, what is that? I can take it down as 4x plus 2y, that is nothing but the number of legs, is equal to twice of number of heads, that is x plus y, and 14 more. So we add 14 to it. So we get the RHS as 2x plus 2y plus 14. Thus we can say that if we cancel 2y and 2y from the LHS as well as the RHS, we get 4x is equal to 2x plus 14. So we can say that 2x is equal to 14 thus x is equal to 7. Now we had assumed that the number of cows to be as x so we will write down x is equal to 7 which is option B that is 7. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Informatica and do subscribe our channel.